welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make another stinger transition, which is a glitch that's going to look like this. Okay, so first here we have my logo. As usual, I'm just going to shape it for this purpose here. Um, so I want it way shorter and I'm going to make a circle with it. So I'm just going to use alpha shapes. As I said, I want a circle, so I use ellipse. And size, I want it bigger than this. Maybe smaller in this direction. And... Oh, that's actually quite nice. Is it circular? Looks kind of circular. Okay, I think that's good. So I can just close, collapse it. It's perfect. And then I'm going to also add a transform effect, just because I think it's a bit too big right now. So I'm gonna put it at like 75%. Okay, I like it like this. So onto the actual glitch effect. So you're gonna need to make a title clip for the rectangles. To open title clips, you can either go to project at title clip or as you can see here, control T. So I'm gonna do this. And I don't want text, so I'm just gonna remove that. And I'm gonna press Alt R to make a rectangle. You can also just press this icon here. So I'm actually gonna make something for once with precise measurements. So I'm gonna put it at zero here, zero here, and I want it to be the full length. And 1080 divided by four, which is 270, I think. I hope. Yep. Uh, and then I'm gonna make a second one here. So it's gonna be. Hey, that calculation was wrong. Just give me a second. No, that calculation was right, and I'm zoomed in. Yes. Okay. So the calculation was right. Um. So still the same size. Two and seventy, and here zero, and here. 540. So I don't want it to be white. I want it to be my dark purple that I use. I actually put it in the corner here as well. Um, I'm just gonna do pick screen color and pick it from the logo. Okay, and this one is gonna be the same one. Okay, and create title. And the amazing thing is we're gonna use this same title clip twice. So here, let's shorten it and put it down twice. Why is this so high? It doesn't need to be that high, I don't even need the fourth track, but well. So, uh, this is actually going to be a bit shorter than the purple parts. So maybe I can lengthen these a tiny bit and shorten this a little and center everything. I'm not sure how long... I'm gonna need them to be. So for now, I'm just gonna hide the top layers just to only see the bottom one. And I'm gonna add a transform effect. And it's gonna move in. In like yay frames, maybe. I'm gonna make sure it's on smooth so that everything I click just makes smooth, smooth keyframes by default. And I'm gonna change the first one to smooth as well. And on the first frame, it's gonna be out of frame. So actually I can just put that to here and we're good. And now it's going to move in. Uh, it's actually maybe a bit too fast, so I'm going to change it. Add a keyframe around here and move it to the middle. And just make sure that that looks neat, nice. And at the end I'll do the same thing. It might be actually a bit too slow. Yeah, You, you need to find the right length, you know. So at the end, I don't know if I wanted to go the other side or not. Uh, we'll say yes. So here and I'll just take this and put it down a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. Zoom. Zoom. One problem. You've seen it, I think. Maybe. Here, it goes too fast. Too far. 
So I'm just gonna put this one to linear and it should solve, solve this problem. But it's less smooth, but at least I don't have this problem, you know. Okay, so that is all good. And now, how do you put it on the other direction? Well, you just take your transform and you drag it onto your second title clip. Uh, I can see it actually now. I'll go in the middle, no difference because it's just the same one. But I'll add a flippo effect. You could also use uh, two, one of these plus one of these, I guess, because you need both of the flips. And now it's full. It's ah, I love the thing. Like, look, it comes together. And yeah, I don't know. I, I was so happy when I found this, even though it's kind of like simple. But yeah, it saves you so much time. So yeah, like this and like this. And then you also want your glitch on your logo. So you're gonna use a glitch or effect. Uh, the f well, I'm not sure it's how you say it, but because that's a zero, obviously. But that's, uh, I don't know. One thing is this is not keyframeable, as you can see here. So it's kind of annoying. But we're also gonna add an RGB split. And this one is keyframeable. So we're gonna start with this one and then we'll add the glitch or. So I want it to be glitchy for like till here. Yeah, something like that. So I'm gonna add a keyframe here. And let's see. Ooh. So yeah, you can go in either direction. Uh, you actually want it to be to zero at that point. So I can just put it back to zero, 0 0.5. But at the very very beginning, I want it to be maybe like this. You could put it more or less, of course, as usual, you choose. These are just suggest suggestions. And at the end, again, maybe I'll split it the other way to change it a, a bit. Does it change anything? Wait, it's in this direction? Oh yeah, the red is on the other side. Okay, that's cool. Okay, and so as I said, we need to add glitch. Uh, glitch or I don't know how you say this, but uh, we're gonna cut some clips to be able to do that. The clips to be able to do that. So like this, I don't know, a few frames on each side. I like to have like three increments. I think that's good. So in the middle one, of course, we'll have no um, glitch, but in the side ones, we'll have some. So I'll just add it to the first one, which is the most uh, changed one. And I want a way higher frequency, like this high. Block height, I want it lower because I have a small thing. Yeah, like this. Shift intensity can be higher for the first one. And that's good. And then I'm just gonna drag it to my second one. I can just collapse all of these effects. Uh, actually, I need to move the effect up. I want to have first glitch or and then uh, RGB split because I think it looks better. Look between this and this. Like, there's no problem at the sides here. So, for this one, sorry, we were at the glitch, so we want it to be less frequent. Block height can kind of stay, stay the same. It could get a bit higher, I guess, and shift intensity needs to get lower. And then we drag it once more to the third one. I can collapse everything. So, exchange the two effects and then glitch frequency lower block height higher and shift intensity even lower i'm stupid i'm not on the right one Ooh, shift intensity way lower okay i might actually need to change it a bit on this one too because that was very high okay a lot less and less okay that's nice i want to check that the rgb split is Still active? Well, it's a bit too low, so I'm just gonna uh, change that a tiny little bit. Just so that we can see it a bit more. And that's nice. And now I'm just gonna drag this glitcher to this effect here, uh, to this clip here. And collapse and exchange the two effects. Then I'm gonna drag this glitcher to this part here, uh, not part of the clip. I'm gonna change both of them. And this glitch to this one. And collapse. Let's see what everything looks like together. It's kind of nice, but I guess you could expect it because there's been this the whole time. I'm gonna add some sound effects. So, these are just random stuff I found online. 
I'm just gonna select some of these randomly. Well, not really randomly, because I know which ones I like. But yeah. And this will go here for the beginning. And this one here for the end. It's better if it's not the exact same one used both times, of course. Add some fading in and out, because like that's a bit too much, too long. The... Okay, let's see everything. Okay, one thing I would like is for it to move a tiny bit between the two. So I'm just gonna add a composite and transform on top of everything. Um, I could have done that with the transform at the beginning, but now that it's cut, it would be a real pain to do it on each of them. So I'm just gonna use a composite and transform and <laughs> just zoom in like, or zoom out, I don't know, some movement, you know, uh, like 95%. It wouldn't change much, and I think that's really nice. Yes. Okay, I like it like this. Um, so this is the end of the normal effect, and now if you have something like a background that's not uniform, like this one where you can just split it really easily, I'll give you another possibility. So project attack is control and alt R, and I'll just make a not non uniform work rectangle uh, with a gradient. So for example, this, I don't really care. And now, if you want to cut it, you're gonna need to use some alpha shapes. Because you need to make masks, and alpha shape will allow you to make uh, masks that are a certain size. So transition to zero, and then position Y. We need it to be way higher, like here. But we need it to be... So if 500 is the total size, we need it to be 125 in the other direction uh, to be 1 fourth I assume and then I guess 125 here as well to be at the right place and we need to be way longer in X so this would be the first one well actually 500 should be all good for this one and then we're gonna add a second alpha shapes so it's gonna look weird uh, just give me a second so transition width to zero, size was 500 here, 125 here, and lower, so with size Y, we need, uh, no, position Y, we need it to be lower, like here maybe? That, does that long look nice? Yes. Uh, maybe it's like 625. And to show them both, we need to find the right things here. I'm not sure. I think it might be add plus me. Yes, that works. So now we have both of them. You can just collapse them. And you're gonna need to do the same thing for the second one. So control C, control V. And I'll just move them down. So position Y will be at 250. Nope, more. Uh, it wasn't 250, it was 250 plus 125, which is 375. And for this one... That was 125. Ugh, so much work to understand how this works, because it's not pixels. 875, I guess? Yes. So, then I can show everything, and now if I just... Well, I'll just make them the same size first. Okay, and then I can just copy these over to here. And now I should have the right effect here. What the fuck? Oh yeah, because I have the thing I don't want, which is Flippo. Because you can't really do Flippo with a normal, different image. Oh yeah, and so the transform is not on the right side. Ah! I should have thought it through. I need to change all of this. So I can remove the minus here, remove the minus here. This should be okay. And I need to add a minus to this one and add a minus to this one too. And now we should be good. Nice. And I can just copy this to show you. Control C, Control V. Okay, like this. And everything looks good. 
I mean, it looks better on the purple, obviously, but yeah. Okay, so that is actually all for today. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, oh yeah, give me your your opinion about this thing in the corner here, like this. This. What about the size, the position? Is it clear? Can you, I don't know, anything you want. I'd love to know. Well, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.